I'm gonna recap here how I installed an idle adjuster on my 2018 Honda Grom. When you look up idle adjuster for the Grom, there's gonna be the idle air screw, which most people talk about. It's a little black screw on the opposite side of the throttle body. And that's used mainly for like fine tuning the the idle. This idle adjuster here is more for on the fly adjusting the idle for um, mainly stunting reasons. First step, there's a cover right here that's covering kind of the throttle cable assembly down here. There's one bolt, just take that off. Um, you just kind of have to wiggle it out there, it'll pop right off. Um, the original screw that was um, in here that sets the idle is this little guy here. Um, I don't remember what size this was. You just have to take like a little mini wrench and loosen it and then you can hand screw it the rest of the way out. Um, the next thing, you have an air box bracket right here that is connected here and bolted in here and here. Um, you might not have to take it off, but I ended up taking it off to get a little more clearance. And I believe these are both 10 millimeter bolts, this one and the other one here. Um, because this idle adjuster is a little bit long, I had to take this bolt out. Um, I would recommend maybe grinding down part of the threaded part or the uh, just cutting it off a little bit to make it easier to screw in. But I had to take this bolt off and I did run into a problem where I think the throttle body shifted just slightly because this bolt was having a tough time slipping back down in there. Um, you want it to seat, be seated and then you should be able to screw it in by hand basically all the way until it touches the, becomes flush with the top of the throttle body. If it doesn't, then you're misaligned and there's this third bolt right there. You can just loosen that and kind of twist the throttle body so you can get the other screw lined up. Uh, that's kind of how I have it zip tied right there. Makes it easy to access from the side of the bike. On this idle adjuster, there's a washer and a spring, and then you just screw it on. That's pretty easy install. You also have the option of using a thumb screw, but that might be a little harder to reach, um, having to come all the way down underneath here. Um, the airbox bracket isn't completely necessary because the airbox itself is pretty sturdy. What you could do is just pop it back on and then put the other bolt right in there. So it's somewhat connected, but it's not completely necessary.